and we're back for another episode. In this episode, I'm going to be starting my new players crafting series here at youtube.com slash Mifri. And as always, hello from Ori. Now, the purpose of this crafting series is to show how a brand new player starting in patch 2.55 can level up all eight crafting classes to 50 solo without any help, without any boosting, 100% self-reliant and so on. And why craft, you might ask? Well, the advantages of crafting are you can uh, repair your own gear and you can repair your own gear cheaper and even more than any vendor can. You can reduce your own costs for acquiring items by being able to craft them yourself, which goes hand in hand with avoiding the markups and sometimes just outright ripoffs on the market board. You can make gill. You can use it to make a profit, especially here towards the high end. You can make a lot of profit if you start high quality items. And as well, just be independent. You won't have to rely on other people to make items for you. Now, these are the rules. She can take advantage of any type of uh, free company bonus because I can't stop them from being there anyway. So if you happen to be in a free company that offers things like experience bonus for crafting, great. She will not use any type of boosting items because, for example, I have these headpieces like this one here, which can offer me a 20% boost for the first 25 levels. But I know not everyone can get their hands on that, so I, I won't be using that. And this gill she has, this 2.8 million, is gill she's generated herself since being a new character. And if you want to know how I generated that gill, then you can watch my new player's gill guide, which I'll link in the description. So I was able as a brand new character to generate this much gill without any crafting whatsoever. And here is the proof So you can see here. She, has, she hasn't unlocked any of the crafting at this point. And as well, she's starting this with no shards, no crystals, no nothing. So 100%, she's in this by herself, and she needs to get on with it. Now, uh, because this is going to be all eight at the same time, then obviously I'm not going to show the same process eight times. I'm just going to explain what to do every five levels with all eight crafts, and um, just do them, like, so five levels at a time. And that's the approach I go for. So, for example, this video series will cover what to do from level one to five with all eight crafts. Now, in Gridania, you have the Carpenter and Level Worker guilds. In Uldar, you have um, Alchemy, Goldsmith, and Weaver guilds. And in Limsa Liminza, you have the Armorsmith, Blacksmith, and Culinarian guilds. So we will visit the eight guilds and we will unlock the crafts but anyway we're right here in gridania in um the carpenters guild so we're going to start this series so here we go so the very first thing to join a uh, guild you need to have i think it's level 10 with your first craft uh, with sorry with your first class but i would recommend to be honest that you get to 50 finish the story follow my new players guild guide generate as much guild as you can before you start crafting there's not really a point to do it before then and what is important as well going into this is knowing that because the expansion is only three months away that we are focused now on the level we are not focused on the gear we're not going to try and get four star and all this other stuff at level 50 because once the expansion comes out it's all going to be replaced anyway our main goal is to level so you talk to the receptionist you accept the quests and all the quests start with so you want to be a whatever you say yes i want to learn the ways and so on and so on okay i'm just having through this because i want to do this quickly and then you accept your very first quest, your level one quest. So you're given some uh, initial shards to greet you to the craft. So let's accept that. Wonderful. Done. So let's talk to the guild master. And we will do this for all eight crafts as well. Okay, so devote yourself to carpentry. Yes. And complete. So we're going to be given 100 wind shards, 50 ice shards, and the saw. So let's complete that. And that's it. So first things first is you won't be able to accept this level 1 quest until you equip the item. So if we do that now. So we're going to equip her saw. There we go. 
And whoop, she's naked. So let's wear some level 1 gear just so she actually isn't so naked. Let's do that now. Okay, so now that she's ready to go, we can see that she has the 100 wind shards and the 50 eye shards you receive by just unlocking woodworking. She has got no other advantages whatsoever. So the very first thing you should do, open up your action and traits. On PC you do that by pressing P on the keyboard. You go to actions and then here, the only ability we have right now is basic synthesis and that's it. We will not even get basic touch until level 5. So literally for the first 5 levels it's just going to be a case of pressing synthesis over and over again. Very, very, very basic. So what you do now from your leave guildmaster, sorry from your guildmaster at your at the starting guild, you accept the level 1 quest. So level 1 quest is very very simple. Okay, so what he wants us to do is deliver a length of maple lumber. So in order to make a lumber number, you need to open up the crafting log. So the way you do that, you press N on your keyboard or in your options, you go to logs, go to crafting log. That's how you open it. And you can see there, maple lumber. So in order to make a maple lumber, we need three maple logs. So you might think, oh, okay, where do I get maple logs from? So what you can do for the first 10 levels, which makes it easier for you, is you go to the guild supplier at the front desk and you buy what you need so let's do that now so free maple logs there you go so we have our free maple logs that we just bought so now very very simple this is how we start crafting we have one ability can't go wrong open the crafting log we have the free maple logs that we need we need one wind shard we have a hundred that they gave to us which is great so then you click synthesize so all you can do is just press basic synthesis. That's it. You don't have any other options. And press it again. Done. And a couple of things to know about that is we received 120 experience because it is the very first time we crafted the item. So we got 120 experience bonus for it because it's the first time. And you see this little tick, this little orange tick means that we've crafted it before and we got the bonus. All the other items don't have the ticks because we haven't made them yet. And we also got 90 experience because of the fact we just made it. So we can boost the amount of experience gained after level 5 when we start working with quality. But for the first 5 levels, it's very, very basic. This is all we're going to do. We're going to make this lumber... We're going to give it to the guild leader, and then that's it. And then we will then continue on our journey to getting all of them to level 5. So let's talk to him again. Let's turn them in. To very quickly turn in items, rather than having to drag it like this, what you can do is you can put your mouse over the box, right-click, and then you can just click it, and it makes it quicker so rather than having to look for your bags to find the item to turn in you just right click it hand over done so we'll keep the, keep the cutscene and that's it now we're going to receive another 150 wind shards 100 ice shards 30 maple logs and a hapen curter which is going to be our very first crafting piece of gear so let's complete and that's it and now we are level two so, very first thing we're going to do, we're going to equip the piece. Now, one thing I recommend you do along the way, open up your gear set list, click this button, create new gear set, and it will create a uh, gear set. I mean, we already made it before, we, we can just get rid of it. So, let's get rid of both of them and do it again. So, let's do that. So, the advantage of the gear sets is, is that when you want to change back into a carpenter from your other classes you can use the gear list and I'll show you the way that works so again you open up your character screen by pressing C on your keyboard or alternatively you can come to character and click character you click this button gear set list you click this plus create a new gear set create 
so we can see here we now have carpenter so whichever whatever gear you're wearing at the moment so we're wearing level two carpenter gear it will make the appropriate gear list and what you can then do you can drag it to your hotbar which is what i've done here you don't have to you can always go here and then right click and say equip so if i want to change back into whitesmith i could just click that equip set and it'll change me back into my whitesmith but i like to have them on my hot bars here because it just makes it quicker for me and that's it so now this is the next bit of advice on our new journey there is something that we can take advantage of with our grand company called delivery and supply missions so if you've I've already leveled up to level 50 and you've ranked up with your grand company and stuff like that then you must have already unlocked the ability to do this turn in without maybe even realizing that you have and again this is another reason why I recommend you level up one of your combat classes and finish the main story first before you get into the realm of crafting so that these options are available to you from the beginning so I am a member of the twin adder what you do is you come to your personnel officer whichever one it is so it's always the third npc um, from the left personnel officer in your grand co uh, company you say here undertake supply and provisioning missions and we can see here supply mission we they would like as a carpenter for me to bring them maple clogs and they will give me for this 840 experience 16 seals now this gold star next to it denotes that it's in high demand so this 840 experience is higher than usual absolutely higher than usual but it's a good thing to take advantage of and the good thing about it is is that you can undertake eight supply missions every single day every 24 hours you can do another eight so we're going to do this one quickly the maple clogs and uh, we're going to get this bonus experience. So let's do that now. So we need to make some maple clogs. So again, open up your character screen. Let's see here, maple clogs. In order to make a maple clog, we need one maple lumber. So we need to make another maple lumber, which we can do now. And then we'll make the clogs after. So let's do it. Basic synthesis, done. Now we have our maple lumber we can then synthesize the maple clogs. So let's synthesize. And again. Done. So again, we got 120 experience because it's the first time we did it. We got a little orange tick. We got 85 for making the clog. So for example, if I made another clog, I'll get another 85 experience, but I won't get the first time completion again. That first time completion is a one-off. But okay, what we can now do, we can click on the personnel officer, click on undertake supply and provisioning missions, maple clogs, so let's click that, hand it over, hand over, deliver, done. So you can see I got 840 experience for turning them in. So I'm already level 3. So you can see that getting the first 5 levels is really, really fast. Now, one thing to do to finish off towards level 5 is make one of each item on this list. Now, the thing about this is that, for example, this item here, because it has plus control, it might actually be useful for you as a crafter. So we could make another one of these just to actually use it. So let's do that now. Let's make another maple lumber and then another pair of clogs okay done and we'll make another pair of clogs synthesize basic synthesis done so now we have a pair of maple clogs we're actually going to wear them because crafters rely on craftsmanship control and cp they are the three stats you want to get boosted with your gear so let's wear control control increases the quality gained which we'll cover in the next episode and craftsmanship increases the speed at which you fill up the synthesis progress bar okay so we have this and when you equip new set new gear to an item set click this button here update gear set and it means that it will remember to equip these boots rather than the other ones the next time you equip your carpenter so now what i can do next here maple short bow 
So again, I need to make another maple lumber, but I need a hampen yarn. So what we can now do, we can go straight back to the carpenter guild. Here we go. Talk to the guild supplier. Does he sell hampen yarns? Let's see. Scroll down the list. Here we go. Hampen yarn. Free gill. Yes. Let's buy that. So now, like I said, this guild supplier will cater for you for the first 10 levels. So pretty much everything you need for the first 10 levels of crafting is available from the guild su supplier. After level 10, I will explain what you need to do. But for the first 10 levels, it's really, really simple. <coughs> so again, we need to make another maple lumber and a ham yarn. So let's do that now. Okay, so that's a uh, maple lumber. Let's make the maple short bow. Done. Okay, so again, we got 181 experience because it's the first time we did it and 122 experience from actually making the bow. So next, we need to make a bone harpoon. So we, we already have enough to make lumbers. We have we can make another seven lumbers. That's no problem. We need a bone chip and an animal glue. So let's see if the supplier sells them. So let's see. We want bone chip. And we want a animal glue. So let's do that now. So again... Now we need another maple lumber, so let's make it now. I mean, if you want, you could just keep making lumbers over and over again to use up all the logs you're given, if it saves you time. So as you can see, we're already level 4. So let's now make this bone harpoon. Synthesize. And like I said, literally, you just have to keep pressing basic synthesis over and over again for the first 5 levels. It's really, really simple. It can't be any easier. So, again, we got... 269 experience for first time completion, 174 experience for making the harpoon. So, and we're already like a third of the way, or quarter of the way into level 4. So next, we need to make an amateur's grinding wheel. So we need a bronze ingot and a rag stone. So let's do that now. Guild supplier... So let's see, we need a bronze ingot and a rag stone. So does he have rag stones? Where are rag stones? Here they are, rag stone. Okay, now if you forget what you need to, to buy when you open this menu, you can still press N at any time to open your crafting log to remind yourself. So if I forgot, for example, I needed a rag stone, I could just open this up without closing this menu and then buy the rag stone as I need it. So then, let's make another maple lumber, synthesize, go, done, and, sorry, we're now going to make our amateur's grinding wheel, so let's make that now, and it doesn't matter if you fail moves. So for example, that basic synthesis failed and that can happen. It's not guaranteed to succeed, but the better your gear is, the more craftsmanship you have, the less likely it is to succeed. Sorry, to fail. So again, we'll just keep pressing this. And once more. And that's why gear is very important. So you can't just get all the way to 50 wearing level one gear. You do need to increase your craftsmanship and control as you go along. So, okay, I've made now the amateur's grinding wheel, which is going to be useful for goldsmith at level 5, but we won't worry about that yet. So here, maple patents. So these are level 5 boots, which offer more control than the maple clogs. So the maple clogs give us plus 6, the maple patents give us plus 8 control. So to make these, we need one undyed happen cloth, one leather, and also another maple lumber. So let's get that now. So here, undyed happen cloth. And, oh dear, I've forgotten the other material I needed. So let me open up my crafting log. Click, okay, I need a leather. So let me see, leather, okay. 
and let's now make our maple lumber and if we run out of maple logs at any point we could just go to the vendor and buy more it's no problem so let's see maple patents synthesize And one more. Done. So now I am level 5 and I've received the ability Basic Touch. But we will talk about that in the next episode for levels 5 to 10. So now, once you hit level 5, the very first thing you do in every 5 levels, you go back to the leader of your crafting guild and you accept the next quest. So let's do that now. Accept. Cool. So he wants us now to make free maple, sorry, square maple shields. So here we go. Square maple shields. We need, so in order to make three of them, we need three maple lumbers and six bronze rivets. So maple lumbers we can make ourselves and we have enough materials to make three more. And we need six bronze rivets. So again, we go to guild supplier, look for... Let's see, bronze rivets, yes. We can select three from here, or you can type in the number three as well, if you need more than than that. Click on it. They say purchase three for 39 gil, yes. So let's now go. And remember as well, guys, that because now I am a level five uh, carpenter, I can wear the new boots that we just made, the maple patents. So let's do that now. So cool, so now, I've upgraded my control by two. So what you can now do is we can now make the free maple lumber. Now the thing to know is, is that when you increase the quality of an item, then you receive more experience. So let's click on synthesize and let me show you what I mean. So we know very well, for example, that if I press basic synthesis, this will finish the progress of one move. We know that already. So, but because we only use 10 durability per move, it means that we can use the other three moves to increase quality by using basic touch. So if we use now basic touch. Okay, so you can see here this quality has gained a little bit. So we have a 4% chance to increase it to high quality when we finish the craft to make a high quality maple lumber. So if we press basic touch again, so we now have a 7% chance and we increase it again, 11% chance. And the thing is, like I said, you need to know that every single time you hit an ability, you lose 10 durability on the craft. If durability ever reaches zero, then, and you haven't finished, then the craft will just blow up and you'll lose the materials. So now we have one move left. We can hit basic synthesis to finish. Now this isn't guaranteed. This is possible. So if basic synthesis, for example, fails, then this craft will explode. Uh, but that's just one of the things that makes crafting fun in this game. Crafting is like a mini game in itself in this game. So anyway, let's click on basic synthesis. And it finished. So you saw last time when I made a maple lumber, I got, if we check the log, uh, maple lumber, maple lumber. Here, so look, you synthesize a length of maple lumber, you gain 77 experience. So last time I made it, I gained 77 experience. However, now this time I made it, I received 177 experience. And the reason why is because it had more chance of quality. So the more chance of quality you build, the more you build up that second bar, the more experience you will gain if you successfully finish the craft. So that is a thing in the game to motivate you to want a high quality. So, okay, we've done one lumber. We need to make two more. So let's do it again. Synthesize. So we're going to hit basic touch three times to increase quality. Okay. And like I said, the more control you have, the quicker this bar fills up when you hit touch. That's what control is for. And let's hit basic synthesis and craftsmanship makes this bar fill up quicker as well. So again, we got 177 experience points and we need to make one more lumber. So let's do that now. 
So, three touches. That failed, that's fine. That, that, it happens. You, it, it's not, you can't do anything to prevent that yet. Later you can do things to prevent it, but for now you can't. Synthesize. Done. So this time we got 149 experience rather than 177 because we didn't get all of the quality boosts successfully through. So now we want to make this square of uh, square maple shield. Now the thing to know is, is that because this is 33 difficulty, we won't necessarily even have a chance to increase quality. So if we increase, so if we do the synthesize, oh sorry, I should have bought six bronze rivets, not three. So let's buy three more. So three times two is six. That's the uh, thing I should have really paid attention to in school. So anyway, let's now make this synthesize. Now we need 33. Um, synthesis gained. We have 60 durability. So what I'm going to do, whenever I'm tackling a new craft and I'm not sure whether I can finish it or not, I click synthesis first. And the reason why, I want to see how much synthesis I gain from it. So I can see I gained 10, with my current gear, I gained 10 progress out of 33. Which means in order to finish this craft, I need to do it four times in total. So 10, 10, 10, 10. So like the that's 40, fine, but that's three is not enough because three will only get me to 30. So I need to do a fourth quality gain. I have 60 durability, which means I have six moves, which means that two of the moves I can use on quality. So let's do two basic touches. Two. Okay, and then we're going to do three synthesis. And of course, there is a chance if any one of these fail, then the whole craft goes kaput. But that's just one of the, let's say, the excitements of crafting. So let's do this. Done. So again, I got 425 experience because it's the first time I completed. I got 455 for making the shield with the two moves increased quality. So let's do it again. So we can do synthesis. I, to be honest, I could do three synthesis now, two qualities, and then the fourth synthesis at the end. It's like, as long as I don't finish the craft before I've done the quality. So you see, one more synthesis will finish. So I can now do my two touches. No one is forcing you to do it in any which order, as long as you don't finish the, the progress before the end of the craft. So you see, one of my qualities blew up. Done. So I got 358 that time, because I didn't get the two quality increases. So synthesize... Again, I'm going to do free progress, basic synthesis, basic synthesis, basic synthesis. Okay, two basic touches. Okay, and one more synthesis. Done. And you can see I'm already level six and I've made the items I need as well to finish the quest. And there's one more item I need to make here as well. So I might as well make it now. I need to make an amateur spinning wheel to finish the 1 to 5 crafting log. And I do recommend you finish the crafting log when it's at the appropriate level because these first time experiences will just not be worth much in later levels. So in order to make this amateur spinning wheel, I need two maple lumbers and two bronze ingots. So in order to make two lumbers, I need three more maple logs and two bronze ingots. Um, rivets I believe so let me double check yep bronze rivets so let's buy two rivets three maple logs and you can see as well the amount of gill I spent so far to get me myself to level six is basically nothing it's like really really nothing it's and my gill has it doesn't even look like it's changed at this point so anyway let me make my two maple lumbers so again, we know that one synthesis will finish the craft in one go. So I can do three touches. Okay. And we will discuss the failing of abilities and how to improve success rates later on when we get the ability to improve success rates. Okay. So we need to make another lumber. OK, 
Okay, so let's now make it. Done. And you see here, this symbol next to it, this uh, sort of arc symbol, means I made a high quality maple lumber. And the significance of that is, is that it will then give me a boost in my quality when I want to make an item. So let me explain. You can see here, I need two maple lumbers. I've got one NQ, which means normal quality, and one HQ, which means high quality. So let me do that. And you can see by applying the one high quality, I will be given a 37 quality boost towards the 451 target before we've even started the craft, which is great. So let's now click synthesize. So again, we need 33. So let me again do my synthesis first. So you see 10, 10, and 10. Okay, so we can hit two basic touches because we have 60 durability in total. And you see, I've already, I'm have already i already starting with 37. So I've got a 37 boost to quality out of 451 without even hitting touch because I'm using high quality materials. So let's hit basic touch twice. Okay, and one more synthesis. Done. So I've now made one of every single item on the crafting log for levels 1 to 5. And you also as well, when you get close to the next bracket, I think at level 4 or at the actual level 5, you then unlock the next level, which you can see here is 6 to 10. But we will cover this crafting log in the next episode. So for now, this is what I would say is a good way to start is make one of every single item in the one to five recipe levels to make a item that you need to turn in for the grand company to take advantage of the provisioning and supply missions and then as well to finish the level one and level five quests with the guild so let's now turn in this item to the guild leader so we need to turn in all three of the shields hand over Okay, so now we will be receive a level 5 secondary tool, which is useful for us. And also we can pick another piece of gear, which we can use on our character. So what I recommend, we already have these maple patents because we made them ourselves. And um, these hapen chauses uh, would probably be the best for us because of the fact we don't have any leggings at this point. If you get to this point and none of these optional rewards are actually useful for you because you've already received them from leveling up another craft to level 5, then simply just take the Allegan coin pieces, tin pieces, whatever, and sell them to vendor to get gill. So let's take the legs, complete. And we received another 200 wind shards and another... Um, I think it was like 150 ice shards as well. So you see our shards are building up nicely, which are going to be useful for our crafts. So again, what we're going to do, we're going to wear the leggings we just received. Cool. Save that. Update the gear set. So now for Carpenter, we're done. So we're already done with Carpenter. We've we've hit level 6, which wasn't the intention. The intention was actually only hit to level 5. But the first uh, 5 levels, because they're so fast... Um, it's insane. So now, because this is a level all eight of them at the same time, we're next going to head to the Level Worker Guild and do the same thing. So the Level Worker Guild is also in Gridania, is right here. So we will continue when we get there. Okay, so we finished our Carpenter to level 6, which is great. So we're literally going to do exactly the same process here at the Level Worker Guild. So I'm not going to cover all of it because there's no point. But again, same routine. You go to the Guild Receptionist. So I want to be a Level Worker. Yes. Yes, let's become a Level Worker. You can read the quest text if you like. Um, you know, it's up to you if you want to. When it finishes talking, you accept the level 1 quest, which involves talking to the guild leader. So let's talk to the guild leader, this uh, Giva. So, swear to uphold level worker traditions, yes. 
Let's complete. So for this to unlock level worker, we're going to receive 100 earth shards and 50 wind shards and also some nice gill. So to be honest, this 115 gill probably pay back all the gill we spent so far already anyway. So at this point, getting to everything to level 6 costs you nothing. You'll probably, you should be making money because of how easy this is. Okay, so see it says there, number of available gear sets has increased. And also level worker has now been unlocked. So what you then do... You go into your character menu, you equip the lever worker equipment as follows. Okay, so we can see that I have now, I'm still wearing the level 1 chest piece, but I'm not wearing anything else from before because the other gear I was wearing was level 5. So let me equip the maple clogs, which are level 1 which is useful for us, and we can wear leggings if we want, it doesn't really matter. And then, again, go to gear set list, you click on, let's delete that, equip this gear set, level worker, and we'll put it slot number three, five, so let's put it down here. So just so I can do it in the same order here, so I can do carpenter, blacksmith, Armor Smith, Goldsmith, Level Worker. So Level Worker goes right there. And every time we get a new piece of equipment, we'll add it here and click this again button to update the gear set. So again, we go straight to the guild leader. We talk to her. We accept the quest. Right, so we need to make a circle of leather. So again, same thing. In order to make a circle of leather, we need one animal skin. So we come straight to the guild supplier. We click on animal skin, here we go, do it, and let's make the item. Okay, so first things first, open up your actions and traits, go to actions, drag basic synthesis onto your bar, okay, and then we will just make the item. We can't increase quality yet because we're not level 5 yet. And again, so I received 120 experience for doing it the first time and 90 for actually making the lever. So let's hand in this lever to the guild leader. And again, it's up to you if you want to watch these cutscenes and read everything. And we're going to receive another happen curtain. We don't need it, we already have one. So these spare ones we'll probably just sell on the market board. We'll receive another 150 earth shards and 100 wind shards, which is great. So let's complete. And I'm level 2. Very, very simple. Now, as before, we're going to check the Grand Company to see what they want. So what you can do is you can click on here on uh, Duty, go to Timers, or Control u on your keyboard. You see here, Next Mission Allowance. Click on that. And it says, to, if I hand in a leather calot to the Grand Company, that, that's what they want, leather calot. So here, I need to make one leather and hand it over to the Grand Company. So let's do that now very quickly. So I need to make one leather. One leather calot. Okay, and it's exactly the same as before, so now we will go to the Grand Company. Okay, so we're back at our Grand Company here at the Twin Adders, because I'm part of the Twin Adders here in Gridania. Go to Undertake Supply Mission, Lever Calot, which we made, hand it over, hand over, and we'll receive 420 experience and 8 Grand Company seals. So we're level 3. So it's going to be exactly the same as what we did with Carpenter. We're going to make one of every single item on the list, even though this list is actually a lot longer than the Carpenter one. We'll make one of each. And then we will go to do the level 5 quest from the guild leader and so on. And we're going to do this for all 8 crafts until we're level 5 with all of them. Now what's going to happen is, is that you're going to end up with quite a lot of gear 
which you just probably won't need or you know because i i don't need this level five um bow from uh my for archer for example i'm not going to be leveling up archer in this character anytime soon so what you should then do with this spare gear is check if they're worth anything on the market board and sell them so let's now go to our retainer Okay, so in my case, because I'm here in Gridania, I've come to the main market boards of Gridania. And you could also do the equivalent in Alda and Limza Liminza, wherever the main market boards are. You will find this retainer vocate. So if you have never hired a retainer before, what a retainer is, is an NPC who acts as effectively your bank. They can hold a lot of items for you, they have a lot of gear space, and they could sell items for you in the market board and they could be leveled up and so on. But so we'll talk about I've spoken about retainers in other episodes as well. But the main point that we're focused on is the selling element. So if you haven't hired a retainer before, talk to the someone the person who says retainer retainer vocate, and then simply hire a retainer, go through that process. Now I already have a retainer, so you can have up to two in game for free, and then you can purchase two more from the Mog Station. So you can have a maximum of four. For the sake of this guide, I've got just one. So in order to summon your retainer, come to the summoning bell. Any summoning bell you might find around the towns. Uh, click on it. And we want to sell the excess gear that we just don't need anymore. So we're going to select the sell items in inventory on the market. Okay. I already see I was already selling stuff on here from my other adventures, let's say. So I don't need this bone harpoon because I'm not going to be leveling up Dragoon or Bard or whatever. So I will click on the... I'll drag it to here and then this option appears. So you wonder, okay, what price shall I sell this for? So click on this button here, compare prices. And we could see that people sell them apparently for up to 100 gil. So let's, uh, let's sell mine for 98. It's not much money, but it's still something. It's better than zero. It's, it's, it's a good idea to sell things. If something is completely worthless, like it's worth the vendor price, then you just sell it to the vendor. So, okay, here, maple short bow. And the, the way you know with the vendor price is that's what it's initially set to. So the asking price 5 gil is the vendor price that you would get from selling it to any vendor. So again, compare prices, 230 gil apparently. So I'll sell this for 229. And there you go. So that's, you know, why not? Make some uh, good money. And now these items, these amateur spinning wheel and amateur grinding wheel level 5, there's no real point in keeping these because they're going to be given to us for free by our, uh, when we go and unlock Weaver and Goldsmith anyway. So whether you sell this one that you might have crafted from the log or whether you sell the one that's given to you, you're free to sell any excess level 5 gear that you just don't need. So let's see here, level 5, compare prices. Again, let's sell these. So the asking price was 3 gil, we're selling it for 98. The asking price for this one is 4 gil, and we can sell it for 200 apparently. So let's sell for 199, and that's it. So we still need the animal skins because we're going to be using them for our log. But that's basically it. That's how you start crafting. That's how I would recommend you start it. And I will do and repeat this process for all eight crafts. So remember, Carpenter and Level Worker in Gridania, as we've done. G Goldsmith, Weaver and Alchemist in Oldar. Blacksmith, Armorsmith and Culinarian in Limsa Lamenza. And it's another reason why I recommend you wait until the end of the game to do this as well, because then getting around from place to place is easy. You've already explored all the towns, you've already explored everywhere. And that's important as well for later on in the a series when we start talking about leave quests and stuff like that so that's it that's how you start crafting if you have any questions any anything just post them in the comments below the video I'm more than happy to help i do a daily live stream at twitch.tv slash mifri if you want to come along and ask me any questions and like i said this guide is aimed at new players this is not for seasoned crafters veterans or whatever you want to call yourselves this is for brand new players unassisted by yourself this is how you start crafting so um this is what i'm going to now do as i'm going to get all of these to level six and then in the next episode we're going to explain what to do from level six to level ten so anyway guys that's it for this episode thank you for watching and as always goodbye from me and goodbye from ori